Edexcel GCSE Biology Syllabus Statement 255. So here we're looking for explanations for changes in the rate of transpiration, which is water loss from the leaf, due to humidity, wind speed, temperature, and light intensity. So if we return to transpiration, transpiration is the loss of water through the leaf. It's caused by the evaporation. For this to occur, the water has to be changed from the liquid phase into the gas phase. And then there's the diffusion through the stomatal pore. So we have to remember these factors in our understanding, our explanations. So the absorption of sunshine generates the heat which transforms the water here in the leaf into the gas phase here above the stomatal pore and then the important thing is the diffusion through the pore so we need to think about the diffusion gradient from inside the pore in this region here and this region here so if we call this one A and let's call that one B. So the concentration gradient for water vapor. If there's a big difference, then we would have high rate of transpiration. If the difference between A and B is small, then we will have a low rate of transpiration. So the factors that would cause a large difference would be, for instance, if the humidity here was very low so low humidity, that would be one. And the second one would be if the wind blows away the water vapor here, that will keep the difference large. So high winds. Temperature, if the temperature is high, we'll get more evaporation so high temperature and the fourth one is light intensity so with high light intensity we have high rates of photosynthesis and water movement so high light intensity so low humidity high wind high temperatures and high light intensity will all lead to a large difference in the concentration gradient between A and B, which will result in fast diffusion, high rates of transpiration. Conversely, if the difference is small between A and B, where the humidity is high, where the wind speed is low. So with high humidity around the stomatal pore, the difference would be small, so the rate of diffusion would be small. If the wind speed is low, the water vapor builds up around here and the gradient is shallow, is small again. So that would be low rates of transpiration uh, number three, low temperatures will lead to low rates of evaporation here. And so that would result in a small difference and a slow rate. And finally, with low light intensity, the rate of photosynthesis will be slow and low, so water movement would be low and slow. 
So the key features of understanding the rate of transpiration is the difference between the concentration of water vapor here and here and how humidity, wind speed, temperature and light density affect transpiration depends upon creating small and large differences here.